Hello Python experience. Hope you are doing great. Today we will be explaining how to do load analysis using Monte Carlo simulation in a Jupyter notebook. So basically what we'll do is we will look into um, what is Monte Carlo simulation and how we can do it in Jupyter notebook. So first of all, let's look into what is Monte Carlo simulation. Monte Carlo simulation is basically a uh, model for a given limit state function. What it do, what it does is, if we take uh, variables, if we take variables uh, from a defined set with defined standard deviation and mean, we can put that values into that model or predefined function and take the outputs and look into those how this uh, how this uh, model works. Like uh, first of all, um, it, it will get very clear if we get into the example. Uh, so let, let's just jump right into the example. And um, here is the generic function for the Monte Carlo simulation or for uh, for explaining the, um, the failure of a <clears throat> failure of a structure. Like if, if uh, g of x is a given function and we input uh, random variables in it and it gives a result of less than or equals to zero, then it is more likely to fail uh, it's more likely to failure of the structure so in this problem we are given that the g of x is is equals to 2 minus x1 and x2 2 minus x1 plus x2 divided by root 2 so we need to know before going into this model we need to know how these uh, how or what are the properties of x1 and x2 so um, and the, uh, in this problem this is given that x1 and x2 are normally distributed so if a data set is normally distributed then the uh, standard deviation becomes one and the mean is counted as zero so uh, what we will do here is on the basis of this given information, we will uh, take a random value for uh, x1 and take a random value for x2 and put in, in this equation. And we will look if the value of gx is less than zero or not. That is the, uh, that is the main theme of Monte Carlo simulation here. So let's get started with coding. Um, First of all, we need to in we need to import libraries and we need to generate the random variables for these uh, x1 and x2. So in x1 and x2, for getting the uh, values of x1 and x2, the higher the amount will be, the higher the accuracy comes. So if we take a uh, four lakh simulation, uh, sorry, uh, yes, four lakhs, five lakh simulation, that will be better to get a more accurate result, okay? So let's get started. First of all, we are uh, importing NumPy, which is basic for this problem. And uh, we, need to, um, we need to import the SciPy library as well to generate the random variables. In this problem, uh, for solving this problem, we have, um, we have iteration of we have iteration of four lakhs and forty thousand numbers. So we are about, so technically we are assigning values in these two for uh, four lakhs and forty thousand times. So how we are going to do it? Uh, here we are using the stats library and to generate the random variables. So what this function number uh, RVS does is uh, it generates the random values uh, for a normally distributed function. And <clears throat> here the log command represents the, mm, uh, the mean of that, um, of that variable of the, of the data set and scale defines the, um, the scale defines the um, standard deviation of the data set. So if we uh, write in this way and uh, we wanted to get the uh, variables um, for iteration number of 4 lakhs and 40,000. So 
we have uh, given the limit here. So from zero to nc minus one will be the total number in this data set, okay? So we are just checking if, if we are doing it right, then uh, if, if we have uh, write the print function to, to get the values of X2. So let's run it. So here are the numbers. We, we cannot get all the numbers from these. So uh, this is just showing these uh, values, the first three values and the last three values. From this point, uh, from this point, my teammates will take over, and you, um, the team, my teammates will take over, and uh, will explain you the rest of the codes. Hello, guys. This is Naidu. Uh, then we are going to do the next step, defining the given function and looking at the results. Uh, my friend pre previously said the code, uh, which is uh, how to run the take the values of x1 and x2 and print the values. And next, uh, I'm going to tell about this uh, function and looking at the results. So now we are going to defining the function. In question, we have an equation of linear equation. Then g of x is equals to a two minus x1 plus x2 by square root of two. Then you need to write a code for this uh, function. g of x is equals to lambda x1 comma x2. Then lambda function is used to generate given problem. A lambda function can take any number of arguments but can only have one expression. Then next we are going to write the function for index. Index is equals to NP a range zero comma n simulations one. Here we have zero is a local value and a n means n simulations and a one is size. Arrange. Uh, the array creation routines based on numerical ranges. Then we need to print the empty results for i in index g is equals to g of x of x1 i comma x2 i. Then we need to print the results, adding the values of g g to results. Then we need to run the code by uh, by pressing the run. Then we get the results for n simulation of value of 4,40,000. Then in these results, we have both positive and negative count. So we need to count the positive values and the negative values by uh, doing the code. Then next step, we are going to calculating the failure probability. Now, okay. uh, we got the results value. Then we assign a is equals to list of results, positive count comma negative count is equals to zero comma zero. Here we have said, uh, uh, we have given the positive count is equals to zero and negative count is equals to zero because we don't, uh, we are starting from zero, right? So that's why we given the zero comma zero for positive and negative count. For number in a, the loop for counting positive and negative number, we use the for loop for uh, count the positive and the negative count. If number greater than equal to zero, positive count plus is equal to one. Then else negative count plus is equal to one. Then we need to print the negative numbers and the positive numbers in the list. Then finally, we are going to calculate the failure probability in this step. Uh, we have the formula for failure probability is equal to failure or uh, negative count by n simulations. By giving this formula, print failure probability, P, uh, then we got uh, POF. By running this code, here we got the values for uh, negative numbers in the list 98491. And positive numbers in the list is 4,30,151. Failure probability is 0 0.02238. Then next, we are going to plot the graph of it is continued by teammate Cody. Thank you. Hello guys, we just found the negative numbers and positive count of positive numbers and the failure probability. Now we are going to plot a graph uh, for finding the cumulative distribution function. So for that, we need to import a uh, numpy as mp and uh, 
we to plot the graph we need to import the matlab math plot lib dot pi plot as pld so uh, we have to for we have to give x axis and y axis or y axis is results and y axis is probability so we have to assign a formula for a uh, results and probability so x is equal to np dot sort of for reals we got the results above we are uh, which are uh, 440000 these are the results we got so we have to assign them in the ascending order to calculate the number of failures and number of number of uh, reliability uh, reliability numbers and uh, this is the failure uh, cdf values np data range of ncm divided by float of ncm and we are going to plus you know, we are we are doing pld dot grid because we, we, if you want a grid you can view the pld dot grid if you don't need a grid you can leave it you can remove this grid and pld dot grid we are, we are giving the title to the graph cdf using sorting the data and uh, pld dot plot of x y we are we are, we are plotting the equation and mark is zero. So it will give the results. CDF using the, this is the graph we got. And uh, now we are done with the first problem. So let me explain more examples uh, based on the Monte Carlo simulation. Yeah, this is the second example. The first one is a linear example, a linear function, but this is a nonlinear function. The given function is g of x is equal to x1 cube of x1 square into x2 root to x2 cube minus 18. So these are the mean values. The mean values are uh, uh, 10 and 9.9, .9. but the standard division is all y, values are y. So we are go, go ahead and check the course for the <coughs> for this example. Yeah, I'm going to import numpy as mp and cypy star starts as st. And in the previous case, our uh, n simulations are 4 lakh 40,000, but I'm giving the n simulations are 1 lakh 72. And uh, as I said, LOC means mean and uh, scale as 5. In our case, the uh, mean value is 10 and 9.9 and 9.9. And the standard deviations are 5 pi. Yeah, we are all good to go. We are printing the results of x1 and x2. Like uh, these are random variables, but we we got by using Monte Carlo simulation. After from the given equation, we have to write, uh, write the given equation, which is the lambda of x1 and x2. And uh, we have to, uh, yeah, as you as I said before, we are uh, assigning a list, which are uh, assigning empty list to the RES results. So we are adding, and then we are creating a for loop to add the uh, give, um, results into the a given list by using the equation given equation g of x of x1 of i into x comma phi res dot append dot add this, this means append means we are adding the uh, got results into the empty list if we print the result it will show the results after uh, after after getting the results for the given uh, uh, random variables x1 and x2 we have to find the variable value probability so What's the failure probability? Failure probability is something, um, <coughs> the number of negative values divided by number of, uh, total number of values. So to calculate the number of uh, negative values and positive values, I'm writing a code for, for negative count. So I'm, uh, firstly, I'm creating the, uh, I'm taking the results as a, a. So for a J in length of RAS, if uh, R is less than uh, the results in the greater than zero, the past count increases by one, else negative count increases by one. So we are going to uh, print the values, negative numbers in the list, negative count, and the print, uh, print numbers in the list and past to count. So uh, as I said before, with the failure probability P of is equals to negative count divided by number of simulations. Here in this case, the number of simulation is 17,20,000. So if you print the values, you will get the results. And uh, finally, you are plotting the graph, import NAPI as MP and import MathPlot as uh, PLT. And, uh, uh, and we are sorting the results and we are get, uh, getting the CDF values. Uh, 
by, by the equation by np dot arrange of NCM divided by NCM float of NCM. We have to take the float values. So this, this is the graph we got for the second equation. If you plot, plot the uh, values for the given equation, 